that you have made. Yes. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We are thankful, hallelujah, to be amongst the living. Hallelujah. Ah, hallelujah. We are thankful, hallelujah, to be amongst the living. Hallelujah. We are thankful, hallelujah, for the decision not to make the wrong choice that would have led me to death. Hallelujah. We are thankful for a right mind, hallelujah, that helped us escape from our mess. Hallelujah. We are thankful for another day to get it right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We do not take it for granted. Hallelujah. 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 We want to welcome everybody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the assembly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we lift his name on high every day. Hallelujah. Not Monday, not Tuesday, not Wednesday, but every day. Hallelujah. We lift his name on high on every day. Hallelujah. We look to walk in his way and in his statutes and his laws every day. Hallelujah. We look to, com to take his command every day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not one particular day, but every day that we live. Hallelujah. And we are thankful for life. Hallelujah. We are thankful for his creation. Hallelujah. We are thankful for his grace. Hallelujah. We do not take for granted his grace and his mercy. But we rejoice in it. Hallelujah. 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 Let's give him a hand. time wherein he let him to know that amen his time for me now to be rewarded mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. come on man for my labor come on mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah get to it bishop come and on now everyone was saying uh oh mm -hmm. because it had come to that time for him to make his departure mm -hmm. and but on the cross, he even let them know that uh, it is time for me now to be glorified. Mm -hmm. But the main thing that I would like to say is that and during the resurrection uh, time, uh, after he explained to everyone that it is time for him man, to make his departure. And then they all got together and uh, went out to the tomb. And uh, we have to understand that we must be careful how amen, we read the scriptures. Mm -hmm. And as Proverbs says, with all you get, you can understand. understand. Come on. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know why they went out to the tomb. Amen. The reason why you go out to the tomb, 
up to the cemetery and ran in to see the dead. Jesus wasn't dead. Amen. Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. Come on. He told him in three days, I'm going to ride. Mm -hmm. But on the third day, they went to the tomb. Mm -hmm. It's like a lack of unbelief mm -hmm. or not having an understanding. Mm -hmm. And it seems as though that we carry that on. I listened to a song this morning, and uh, the song was about an old man on the streets, and everybody laughed at him, and, but that's where he lived from day to day, and telling everybody about somebody Come on. who was able to save save their soul. Mm -hmm. He didn't have anything. <clears throat> he didn't have nothing. But he, his home was in the streets. Come on. The point that I want to make is, is that my church have been like that. Come on. For the greatest portion of my life. Mm -hmm. We've been telling everybody about how he rose. Mm -hmm. And how he's able to deliver. And that he would heal. Mm -hmm. And he's always there to pick up what was left off. But yet, all of our lifetime, we've been struggling. Come on, come on, come on. Uh-oh. If that old man uh -huh. knew all of that about Jesus, he should have had a home. Uh-oh. Sir. Uh-oh. Sir. Uh-oh. That's what he would have When you're telling people about the Lord and you have no fruits, mm. mm -hmm. <laughs> my mind, nobody's going to believe you. Come on, right? Mm. And they say if, if church is like that. I can do bad. All by myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I have learned one thing. To lift my head up. Mm -hmm. Because God has given me the victory over the end. Come on. Mm -hmm. He has given me his word. And I'll take it from the eighth chapter of Romans. Beginning at the first verse. This is what this resurrection is all about. We have to believe that. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Hallelujah. Oh, it's easy to Hallelujah. say my father is rich. Come on, come on, come on. On the cattle on a thousand heels. It's easy uh -huh. to say it. Say. Come on. But oh, my God, how do we prove this? Mm -hmm. Romans chapter 8. We're getting at verse 1. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. Mm -hmm. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus and made me free from the law of sin and death. Law means everything. Law is everything that God has blessed you with. Law is whenever you manage what God has given you. 
when you walk in the ways that God has prospered. Mm -hmm. That's what law is. Come on. I'm not talking about the law of man. I'm talking about the law of God. There's power in the law of God. But what the law could not do is that it was weak through the flesh. God sent him his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin condemned sin in the flesh. That the righteousness now listen to what I'm saying. And that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. We have to manage what God has given us. He gave us everything that we need. He gave us life, not death, but he gave us life. And he gave us life to walk in. Resist the devil. And he'll flee from that. Hallelujah to God. You can say whatever you want to say. You can do whatever you want to do. But if you walk as God has given us the strength to do, we are more than comfort through him that love us. Come on, come on. He's the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. You cannot, and I'll repeat, you cannot walk in Christ mm -hmm. and walk in darkness at the same time. Mm -hmm. This is what's wrong with the church today. Uh -huh. Because we are going by our decisions. We're going by the same decision that Adam and Eve made in the garden. Come on, come on. We're going by our choice. And God don't work by our choice. He worked by his law. He works by his law. His law is his word. That's it. That's it. And he works no other way. Job said he's in one mind. One mind. And who can change him? Hallelujah. God bless you. Hallelujah. 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 Y'all just give him a hand clap. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. All right, at this time, we're going to go ahead and take up our offering. Uh, for anybody that wants to give online, the cash app is in the description. We're going to get that out of the way. We're going to get to some words real quick. I'm excited. Y'all excited? Hallelujah. Y'all excited or y'all still be down from the week? Supposed to let the week go before you come in. Supposed to get that week off. Supposed to get that week up off you. Huh? Don't even call it a week no more. Call it them days. Because when you say week, that make you weak. Nah, don't worry about it. I'm deep today. I'm deep today. Y'all just got to get weak because I'm deep. I'm deep today. Huh? Undefeated. Come on, come on. Undefeated. Undefeated. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on. Undefeated. I feel like Muhammad Ali, man. Float like a butterfly, stay like a bee. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm deep today. Deep, deep today. Pen, anybody? Good. Uh, the envelope. There's some more envelopes up there, too, if anybody need envelopes. Anybody need envelopes? I'll give them a white. Oh, okay. I'll do it. I'll do it. Y'all act like he dead, man. I'm on it. Y'all act like he dead, man. I, I feel right. good. Y'all need to, we gonna eat, we gonna eat, y'all wanna eat, we gonna eat if that's gonna, <laughs> we eat if that's, <laughs> we get something, we gonna get something this week. I know it's Resurrection Sunday, and you're supposed to eat, we gonna eat. And make sure y'all good. Yeah, make sure y'all good. Jay, I'm gonna come and get a prayer while we go. Uh, Come on. Yes, Maybe you can, you can shake them off a little bit. Shake them off a little bit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some of that stuff up off you. Get a little bit up. Let's do it like the Godfather of Souls. So Come on. Say it loud. Hallelujah. Come on now. Hallelujah. Yes, it is. Yeah, people say it loud. All right. We, can say it. we should be able to, anyhow. That's right. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 
We thank you on today for an understanding. Hallelujah. And for those that un don't understand, Father, we just pray that you help them grow in an understanding of the way that you pay yes. for us to follow. Hallelujah. Understand the severity of the consequences of not doing so. Yes. Mm. Hallelujah. What we need is understanding, Father. Yes. Hallelujah. Our people don't understand. Because of the deception that has been going on for so long. Yes. Through religion. Yes. But this is not religion, Father. They need an understanding. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. That's good, Jack. That's good, Jack. That's good, Jack. Hallelujah. Relationship. Hallelujah. Come on, come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To reestablish the relationship that we lost. Mm -hmm. And yes. that's what you came here to do. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 That's what you need to understand, Father. Hallelujah. You don't put more on us than we can bear. Uh -huh. your, your yoke is not too much. Mm -hmm. Your yoke is not heavy. We walk around heavy every single day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But we don't do the one thing that can get it off of us. Come on. And that is relinquish our power. Mm -hmm. Relinquish our motives and intentions come on come on yes, to you yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. to acknowledge you in all of our ways that's it to let you direct our paths mm -hmm. thank you Lord. thank you Lord. you're more than willing to do so thank you but we have to first come to you in order for you to come to us yes it's on both sides not just one mm -hmm. yes, we have to be willing to put in the work yes. because faith without works is dead. Yes. Everybody has some type of faith, but nobody's put in the work in yes. to see the results that they want to see. Yes. And we just thank you that you are willing to do both. When you rose, when you rose us too with you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for everybody in here today, Father. Yes. We have a place Hallelujah. where we can gather together in your name. Like-minded people, yes. all seeking the same thing, all on the same path, Hallelujah. all experiencing yes. the same trials and tribulations. Hallelujah. Yes. Nothing is too great for you. Yes. So we just pray for all those, Father, on today, battling depression. We pray for our youth. Yes. We pray for our youth. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. We pray for our youth. Hallelujah. Yes. But they need you, Father. Yes. Yes. All of this stuff going on, all of this motivation from Satan, Thank you, Lord. all of these distractions, Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. all of these desires that they have and don't Hallelujah. understand why they're having them. We just pray that you allow them to have an understanding. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That you build them up, Father. Sometimes we have to learn the hard way. Hallelujah. But we just thank you that you're still going to be there. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Lord. So on today, Father, we just pray that you mark our children. You mark the youth with your seal, Father. Hallelujah. For the enemy is seeking to devour them. Hallelujah. Kill and destroy them. Yes. Thank you. Because in the beginning, you said the seed of the serpent will war against the seed of the woman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He is seeking to destroy the seed of the woman still. Hallelujah. Because he knows those are where the head crushers are coming from. Hallelujah. Yes. So, Father, we are desiring to raise up head crushers in these yes. Head busters. Yes. Come on, come on, head busters. And it's a trial. Hallelujah. It's a trying times, Father. Mm -hmm. And we just pray that you cover our children, cover yes. our youth, yes. Yes. cover our families, yes. Yes. cover all of us yes. in your name and in your way. In your son's powerful name we pray. Hallelujah. 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 H
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And raising up some head bosses. I remember when y'all, y'all 2002 folks know, we used to sing in the club, in it? Now we can't be head bosses for them. So I got about. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to get to what I can get to today. Um, he died and he rose to go y'all Easter message. Amen. All right. Thank you, Lord. All right. Um. <laughs> That was good. That was good. Hallelujah. 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 Right. Today is Sunday. Y'all forgive me. Teach us. Come on. Come on. Tell us something we need to know. Today's message is titled Resist the Temptation. It slows down the process. That's good. Um, this message came to me by the way of a sentence he gave me. And I laughed with him when he gave it to me. And y'all should chuckle too because he tell y'all this all the time too. Stop trying to take the edge off. Mm -hmm. uh, I saw, I forgot, I'm talking to holy folks. I'm sorry. Stop trying to take the edge off. Mm -hmm. Y'all know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Y'all know what I'm talking about? You know you get that itch sometimes it's just I just got to do something real quick. Mm -hmm. That's taking the it. Y'all gonna have to get over here with me. I'm over here. I ain't going nowhere else. Um, but why? Why Bishop was going with it? it uh, something was laid in my spirit, so I'm gonna go ahead and share it with y'all. Um, James four and three, and I'm gonna try to get to James today. I don't know that I'm gonna be able to, but I'm gonna try to get to James today. If not, it's all good. But um, I wanna I wanna do this because he he shared this with me. Um, and I'm gonna read from one. Now, three is what I wanna read, but I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna start from. It. One. Uh, so James 4 and 1 says From whence comes wars and fightings among you Come they not hence Even of your lust That war is in your members Ye lust and have not Ye kill and desire to have And cannot obtain Ye fight and war Yet ye have not Because ye ask not Ye ask and receive not Because ye ask amiss that ye may consume it upon your lust. Let me read three again. It says, ye ask and receive not because ye ask amiss. That ye may consume it upon your lust. In this, in, in this train of thought, we're here because we want our stuff. Mm -hmm. We ain't lying today. Right. Mm -hmm. You want your stuff. Amen. Come on, y'all. What, what are we doing? That's right. You want your stuff. Amen. You walk in this walk, yeah, so that you can be saved and go to heaven, but you want your stuff. Amen. People are not here because they can't get their stuff. Amen. This scripture is saying that, that people war, mm -hmm. right? And they still can't receive, mm -hmm. right. right? Now, we know that there are people that war that run this world and they get anything they want, right? Mm -hmm. But his people, y'all see the difference? Mm -hmm. His people are trying to live like the world and do the things that the world do because this is what the... This is what the world does and they receive from their father. Come on, Jay was talking about the seed of the serpent. The world does what they do when they receive from their father. But we... We supposed to be taking the commands of our father, but doing what the world do, hoping to receive what they receive, mm -hmm. and we receive not. Y'all, I'm trying to help right, y'all understand right, these right. scriptures here. And he says, when we come down to three, he says it's because we ask amiss. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, that's a one. That's an interesting word. That word amiss, uh, in the Greek, uh, that word means kakos, which means sick or disease. Mm. 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 You asking sick. Mm -hmm. You asking why you diseased mm -hmm. of the mind. Mm -hmm. So you receive not because you sick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You receive not because you ain't thinking straight. You diseased in the mind. Mm -hmm. Jump down to first, go to first Corinthians 11 and 30. And this is how he brought it to me. Because I was thinking about, you know, uh, us taking communion the other day. And we never go to that scripture unless we take a communion. Y'all know that? Mm -hmm. uh, I 
got y'all read the Bible. <laughs> y'all Bible readers in here. Come on. Teach us. Y'all tell me who y'all ready for me. Because this right here gives us some definitions. And if we went into this book, we'd get a few definitions. Because this is a powerful chapter right here. Mm -hmm. I don't know if y'all know it or not. This, this chapter bigger than taking communion. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm looking for some Breaking answers down. in here. Mm -hmm. So here we go. It reads, <clears throat> for this cause. Bishop, it say for this cause. For this cause. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You want to read? Go ahead and read it, Bishop. I like when you read it on communion Sunday. Anyway. <laughs> For this cause, many are weak and sickly among you, mm -hmm. and many sleep. Hold on one second, Bishop. Is this the cause? Mm -hmm. Because this cause. He said you ask a miss, which means you were sick. So here come a definition of sick. Mm -hmm. He said for this cause, many are sick and sleep. Among you. That sleep among you means diseased of the mind. That means you sleep. You can't see. You can't gain understanding. Come on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, go ahead, Bishop. Mm -hmm. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. Hold on one second. So you mean to tell me mm -hmm. you sick because you won't judge yourself? That's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. You can't judge me. Oh, oh judge this sounds so familiar because mm -hmm. last Sunday we learned that judging yourself means to follow his laws. Mm -hmm. Because his laws are his judgments. Oh, mm -hmm. Something coming to go. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I'm trying to get you to your stuff. You got to be honest with yourself. Come on. Right. Come on. All right, go ahead, Bishop. But when we are judged, we are chasing of the Lord that we should not be condemned with the word. Hold on one second. Now, you already say you ain't got to do nothing else. What? He died and he rose again and we are saved. We can do what we want to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can and not get your stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, for this cause many are sick. Mm -hmm. This is how we ask a miss. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Sin puts you in a, in a, in a position to ask with your head down. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna look at y'all with my glasses. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Huh? Sin makes you ask like this. You think I can? Uh, you ever had to ask your parents for something and you didn't do what they told you to do? Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Um, you think I can go spend spend it in the night? Did you clean that room up like I asked you? No, ma'am. What you asking for? Mm -hmm. Right. You asking a miss? Mm -hmm. You even sound sick. You don't need sound to say, you think I can't go for about five dollars. <laughs> sick. Sick has a, a, a posture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Y'all don't get tired of seeing our people walking around like their back hurt and mm -hmm. can't even hardly get. That's just me. I'm the only one with eyes to see. Mm -hmm. Come on. Uh, uh. We leaving out of church and you got to borrow five dollars, put gas in the tank, and get back home from church. Mm -hmm. nah, go ahead, Fisher. Hey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wherefore, my brethren, when ye come together to eat, tarry one for another. Mm. Mm -hmm. One for another? Mm -hmm. One for another? Mm -hmm. So you mean to tell me that your prayers can help my prayers and my prayers can help yours? Mm -hmm. Well, how will we do that if we separate? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How can we do that if we got pockets in the church? This is the first assembly I've ever yeah. been in where they ain't pockets. Y'all ain't listening to me. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. How can we, we be helpers one for another when we building up spiritual corners? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got something I need. I got something you need. We can be helpers of one another. Yo, sis, how did you overcome it? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I, I'm blessed and highly favored. I've always been this way. Huh? For this cause, mm -hmm. many are sick. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Bishop. And if any man hunger, let him eat at home. Stop coming home. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Yeah. Mm. Stop coming home. Woo. How can your cup ever run it over? If you come with an empty cup every time, mm -hmm. I feel that mm -hmm. Stop coming home. Mm -hmm. Pray at home. Because when you get here, when you come amongst the people, there should be an overflow. Mm -hmm. They shouldn't be filling up your cup because you draining them. Mm -hmm. Oh, Go my ahead. goodness. Go if you hungry, eat at home. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
stop coming in here to plead. It might happen sometimes, y'all. But every time you come in this door, we shouldn't have to save you. Amen. But this calls many are sick. Sometimes when somebody offers you a cheeseburger, you should be able to say no because you're fool, not because you're embarrassed. Because oh, 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 oh. for this cause, mm -hmm. yes. many are sick. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Bishop. Mm -hmm. That you come not together unto condemnation. Woo! And the rest will I set in order mm -hmm. when I come. Hey, if I can straighten you out good enough, all I can do is what I can do. Mm -hmm. I ain't going to worry about the rest. He'll straighten that out when you get here. I can't worry about all that extra stuff that y'all talking about. He gonna do that when he come here. The word said, when he come, he coming with a sword in his mouth. Is he not the word? Y'all ain't listening to me. Hey, hey, hey. You said you didn't you tell them folks they ain't supposed to be following the law? For this cause. Many are sick. You have not, because you ask not. You ask not. Because you know you ask in the midst. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You know you sick. Mm -hmm. You asking for a Maserati. Mm -hmm. And you got high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to help y'all understand what I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know how foolish it is to buy a car you can't put gas in? Mm -hmm. Come on, sir. You spend all your money on the car. Mm -hmm. And the car got to sit in the parking lot because you can't afford to put... Mm -hmm. you get, this ain't right. Mm -hmm. This thing is diseased. Mm -hmm. You sick. I'm trying to clean you up. Mm -hmm. There is a process mm -hmm. to righteousness. Mm -hmm. I wrote it down like this. God told me to stop dismissing the small things. He had me capitalizing D. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I don't mean met to y'all. Because mm -hmm. D is just another word. Right? Right. Now normally, I would only capitalize the things that's associated with his name. Like, mm -hmm. you know, let's say like, for instance, the king of glory. Mm -hmm. I would capitalize king mm -hmm. and glory. Mm -hmm. right. Not D or of. Right. Mm -hmm. He told me to start capitalizing D. What did you talk about, man? Here you go. This is how I talk to him. Y'all deal with how y'all deal with me. Don't talk like that. Here you go. Because that's kind of a relationship we got. He said, he, he made me research the word, and the word D in the Hebrew has an extra E. Mm -hmm. It's the same word, though. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. The word D means to solve, mm -hmm. it means to combine. Or enjoin to charge or to command. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As I told y'all, I'm deep today. The V is way more important than you finishing the rest of the words. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't combine it or conjoin it with his commands, it means nothing. Mm -hmm. You dismissing the small things. That's how the enemy keep getting you. Mm -hmm. There's got to be a starting point. Right. The word the is the starting point of something. How you start mm -hmm. is normally how you finish. Right. Mm -hmm. So you're supposed to start on a high note. Capitalize how you start. Mm -hmm. Command how you start. Wake up in the morning and say, this is the day the Lord has made. Command. Conjoin means to bring it together. Mm -hmm. Start it off with him and finish it with him. Don't dismiss the small parts. Well, I ain't got but a few dollars. Them good few dollars. That's what you're starting with. Capitalize it. Man, I got a few dollars. Come on. What you talking about? There's a process to the order of righteousness. The reason why he don't want us trying to take the edge off, normally when you smoke or drink or 
uh, creep out late at night is because you need to take the edge off. Mm-hmm. Don't worry about it. I know y'all say, uh, but you get a little, you get a little tired. Mm-hmm. You get a little weary, mm-hmm. and you need to take the edge off. Yeah. I knew, a, I knew a man that drunk so bad where he'd say his his blood was getting thin. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, my blood getting thin. Boy, he he get shake. He needed, he needed, he needed that bottle so he can take the edge off. I'm talking about the man was so bad, I went in his refrigerator and drunk some juice, and he came in there and yelled at me and told me I'm drinking all the chaser. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Taking the edge off is how he starts. Because how you start is normally how you finish. If I can confuse you from the start, then you will never reach your potential. The enemy is trying to stop you before you reach your purpose. Mm -hmm. V is so important. Do you know who V is? Do you know who V is? When we spell it, we spell it Mm T-H-E. Just T-H-E, right? Mm -hmm. Now I spell it T-H-E-E. Let me tell you why. When I add the extra E, he comes with Mm -hmm. I can join. Come oh, beat today. I can join it so that the word has power. When I remove the e, I'm out here alone. When I don't capitalize the t, I give it no power. When I remove a letter, I take away its full power because it means me and him together. We about to rock, baby. Huh? So I understand if I start right. All I got to do is start right. I don't care how it looks. I'm going to start right. I'm going to help you out. Go to Matthew 3. We ain't going to read it. I just want to tell you a little bit about it. I'm going to show you all the process of how this works. So I can show you where you are. Is anybody reading it in the... Is anybody reading it in the app? Yeah. What is it called? Say it again. His baptism. It's called his baptism in temptation. This is when John the Baptist told him about a man that was coming. Right? And he tells John the Baptist, I need you to baptize me. John the Baptist say, man, I ain't worthy to even strap your book straps. Mm-hmm. And I done told these folks. Now he said, look, man, I need you to dip me in this water. Mm-hmm. Okay? So we see here that for some reason Christ had to be cleansed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Y'all help me out now. Mm-hmm. Cleansing is a little bit different than what y'all think it is, mm-hmm. man. Cleansing is an anointing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You ain't never clean enough. Mm-hmm. Cleansing is an anointing. Mm-hmm. He was preparing him for something. So we're here now and we're cleansed. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. We came here, we got saved, we're following his statutes and in his ways we are cleansed. That means we got a clean slate to start off. Mm-hmm. We are starting. Start. Cleansing means to start. Mm-hmm. So we are starting off capital. We starting off right. Okay? Now jump over to Matthew 4. This is where we're taking our text from. Well, I'm going to help y'all today whether y'all want it or not. I ain't going to get to James, though. It's all right. Who got their reading? Who got their reading brain on? Go on and start. Somebody read for me. Start at verse 1? Yeah, start at 1. Oh, I'm in the King James. Is there another verse 1? No, King James is fine. Then was, then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterward and hungered. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. But he answered and said... Hold on one second. Stop right there. So we see here that after he was cleansed, the first thing he did, he fasted. Mm -hmm. He was still in that cleansing. Mm -hmm. And after after he did that, he depleted himself of everything that was in him. Mm-hmm. He depleted himself of anything that could have possibly been in him so that he was an open vessel. Mm-hmm. And as soon as he was clean, what happened? 
the tempter came. Mm -hmm. As soon as he was ready, the tempter showed up. Continue reading, Sam. Um, he you answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone. Hold up. I want y'all to notice how every time Satan comes to Christ, all he gives him back is scripture. He ain't reading from a book, though. Mm -hmm. Huh? He got enough scripture in him to give him back. Mm -hmm. This word don't say nothing about him having a book in his hand. Mm -hmm. So they had to be enough word in him for him to give it back to him. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Jay. But, by every, it, but he answered and said, It is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Then the devil taketh him up into the holy city and setteth him on a pinnacle of the temple and said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down, for it is written. Hold on one second. So I want on two points real quick. So I'm going to show you how this word ties together. So the word said that he was hungry, mm -hmm. so the devil tipped him with food. Mm -hmm. He gave him back a scripture that man shall not live by bread alone. Because mm -hmm. the word says that you're supposed to eat at home. Right. 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 Don't come in here hungry. Mm -hmm. Because if you come in here hungry, the tempter can win. Mm -hmm. uh, all you gotta do is offer you what you need. Mm -hmm. Huh? But if you already fool. If you already fool. Well, I don't need your fool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ladies, y'all ever went on a date and a man tried to tempt you with something that you didn't really need because you could. Huh? Mm -hmm. But I can take care. Well, I don't need your money. That's right. Never mind. Go ahead, Jack. If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down. For it is written. He shall give his angels charge concerning thee. And in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against the stone. Jesus said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Hold right there. Hold right there. So we see first he tried to tempt them with a fleshly desire. He mm -hmm. tried to tempt them with food. Mm -hmm. Right? Secondly, he tried to tempt him he tried to tempt him with uh, an emotional draw or try to tempt him with uh, his, his confidence. He tried, to, he tried to make him rise above who he was or, or try to make him see himself higher than where he was. This is why the scriptures say don't see yourself higher than... Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, there's, there's, a, there's a level of meekness that comes with this thing, right? Mm -hmm. So he told him, he said, hey, man, well, if you say who you are, jump down, man. The angels will come and get you. Because you're in charge of the angels. Mm -hmm. You can tell them what to do. Mm -hmm. So if you do that, they'll come and get you, won't they? Mm -hmm. His response was a humble one. Mm -hmm. Y'all understand what I'm telling you? Mm -hmm. Hey, man, you're not, I'm not, I ain't fooling with you. Girl, you sure is fine. Mm -hmm. Or if you don't go somewhere. <laughs> I'm trying to help you. Right. Yeah. I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to show you how he come at you. Mm -hmm. Huh? Now you know you deserve it. They don't, it ain't, they don't even deserve it. You should get. Hey, that ain't mine though. Mm -hmm. that, 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 that woman belongs to somebody else. That ain't mine. Mm -hmm. But but she ain't even happy. That ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm trying to help y'all. Go ahead, Jay. Again, the devil taking him up into an exceeding high mountain. And showed him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them. And said unto him, All these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Mm -hmm. Then then said Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Hold on one second. Mm -hmm. Here, here, here we go, here we go, here we go. Now we're somewhere. Mm -hmm. They're going to come a point where he's going to try to offer you something. Yeah, when you get close to that mission, man, he's going to try to get you to go in another direction. Somebody going to offer you something that's against what you know you should do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Look, look, man. I, 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 you be going to that church every Sunday, man, and them folks ain't got no money. Look, I can... I can mm -hmm. you, 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 you've been struggling for way too long. I can... I can, I can mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Or either that or he'll try to give you a job that keep you so far away from the church you can't even... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You too busy to even, yeah. huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you too busy to pray. Mm -hmm. You you too busy. I know I got to, but I got to, but I got to go to. I got to be at work. Mm -hmm. 
Huh? I'm showing y'all how he comes. And he comes the same way every time. He comes the same way every time. Remember, I told y'all, he only get one shot with you, but that don't mean he don't see another folks. Go ahead, Jalen. Then the hint Satan for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only thou shalt serve. Then the devil leaveth him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. Hold on one second. So look at this here. The word says, resist the devil and he will flee. As a process in resisting him. Huh? There's a process in resisting him. Looked like to me he had to resist him four times. He had to resist him with hunger. He had to resist him uh, 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 with pride. And he had to resist him with money. Are you able to do that? Are you able to do that? There's even a time in there, I said four, because I want y'all to understand, I mean four. There was even a time he tried to get him to kill himself. Mm -hmm. He tried to take him out. Jump down, man. Mm -hmm. Surely the angels will catch you. Y'all think about your life right now. Mm -hmm. Think about how many times he comes at you with these same steps mm -hmm. every time. And if you're hungry, you're going to bite. For this cause, many are sick. And if you're sick, he got some medication for you. I can get, I can get rid of that headache. I can scratch that itch. I can take care of that bill, but you got it. Right? So here we see he was cleansed. Then he was tempted. He overstood both, right? Right. And then the word says that the angels came and ministered to him. Oh. Something getting ready to take place. There's a different level that started happening there because he overcame and overcame, and now he's at a place where he's getting ready to do something. Go ahead, Joe. Now, when Jesus had heard that John was cast into prison, he departed into Galilee, and leaving Nazareth, he came and dwelt in Capernaum, which is upon the sea coast, and the borders of Zebulon, and Nephthalim, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, The land of Zebulun and the land of Nephthalim, by the way of the sea beyond Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles, the people which sat in darkness saw a great light, and to them which sat in the region and shadow of death, light was sprung up. All right, hold on one second. Would y'all think about something real quick? <clears throat> Because I want y'all to know the, the name of this too. Um, the word says that when he left off, when he left off from, from, from the mountain, when he left off from the place he was at, then he heard John was in trouble. Mm -hmm. You know that. <laughs> oh, I'm listening. You know that sometimes you gotta you gotta be so focused that you can't even hear what the folks got going on. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't even know. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't you shouldn't know everything. Girl, you heard about no? Did you know no? You should be so detached from the world that you shouldn't know what's going on. You should be so focused on kingdom business that the world's business ain't none of your business. <coughs> now Jalen began to read uh, 12 already, but somebody tell me what the name of this book is. What is it called? After temptation, what's the book before 12? What is it called? What is it? His work in Galilee. His work begins. His work now begins. So here goes his work in Galilee. Go ahead and continue reading, Joe. Right. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Hold on one second. This man got cleansed. Right? Mm -hmm. Satan didn't try to stop him. Because he knew that he was getting ready to preach about this kingdom. Mm -hmm. He knew. Once he get ready to get into this kingdom stuff, somebody in trouble. Mm -hmm. So I got to stop you before you start learning how to do this thing. Mm -hmm. I got to confuse you before you get in enough power to learn about this kingdom and start operating it. Mm -hmm. Your work is beginning. Y'all ain't listening to me. Your work mm -hmm. is beginning. 
That's why that temptation felt so strong. Ooh, he almost got me that time. <laughs> yeah, I ain't never. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, that almost. Woo! Almost by the grace of. <laughs> oh, God, you have to be having by the, have, have by the shirt tail. Because your work is beginning. When your work begins, he doesn't want the work to start. Because when your work starts, you dangerous. You are now a vessel. And boy, can't he do something with a vessel. Mm -hmm. You are clean, empty, sanctified, and now you are operating in kingdom principles. Mm -hmm. ain't, a, ain't a devil in hell can do nothing with you. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Y'all do know that Christ never dealt with Satan again after this, right? Mm -hmm. Huh? No, 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 no. He had to send other people in charge. Because he only get one chance. I, I, man, I'm only going to teach you the truth. Y'all keep giving Satan credit for stuff he ain't did. Your gas light pop on the devil is a lie. No, go fool behind me and put gas in the car. Right. You bringing that, that man ain't did, he did most of what you said he did. You laying up in a hospital with high blood pressure that got you on the IV. Satan is a liar. No, you a liar. Mm -hmm. You say you were going to stop eating all them sugar cookies. <laughs> there are principles we supposed to live by. If I clean you. <laughs> Help us, Bob. If I clean you. And you go play in the mud. That's not Satan's fault. Right. Mm -hmm. You dirty because you played in the mud. I don't know how I got over here with you. Give me my clothes. <laughs> got me again. No, he didn't. He didn't get you. You got you. You, you got you. Ain't a devil in hell can do nothing with you when you stand on his principles. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Christ was hungry, y'all. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. The word says that he was hungry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got to be able to tell yourself, no. Mm -hmm. no. No, we ain't gonna do that. Mm -hmm. But there has to be, there has to be a practice of no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me ask y'all something. At the point we at right now, had Christ not fulfilled all of this practice, because this is practice. Mm -hmm. Do y'all understand that? He practiced kingdom principles. Mm -hmm. He practiced the word. He also, he also, when he said the word, he was practicing it. Mm -hmm. Because the word don't say, the word don't say man should not live by bread alone. Give me that bread, let me eat some of it. Mm -hmm. No, he said man should not live by bread alone and Satan went on to the next temptation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That means he didn't eat. Y'all ain't listening mm -hmm. right, man. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you good, but you ain't listening right. He didn't eat. So he practiced that word. Now, had he not practiced this word all the way up to death, we wouldn't be celebrating Resurrection Sunday today. Mm -hmm. uh, do you think he would have had the strength to die? Y'all know how much it took for him? Go ahead, Jamie. Mm. And Jesus walking by the Sea of Galilee saw two brethren. Simon called Peter and Andrew his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. And he said unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Hold on one second there, right there. Right there where you at. Right there where you at. I want y'all to understand so. You've been operating in your purpose your whole life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You just don't know it. Mm -hmm. Satan just want to use your purpose for his purpose mm -hmm. instead of using your purpose for the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Read that scripture one more time, Jamie, mm -hmm. so I can help you understand. And Jesus walking by the sea of Galilee saw two brothers, Simon called Peter, and Andrew his brother, cast a neat net into the sea, for they were fishers. And he said unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. He didn't say I ain't going to make you fishermen no more. He said I'm going to just use your fishing skills for the right purpose. I'm going to make you, y'all ain't listening. I'm going to make you fishers of men. 
let, let me show you how to use your purpose the right way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, you do. You just don't know how. Mm. You've been doing it. You've just been using it wrong. Y'all yeah. ever heard of a pimp? Yeah. Pimp. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do y'all know that that's a spiritual gift? Oh, yeah. I, I get it. Huh? Yeah. I'm helping you. You ain't got to listen to me. I'm helping you. I read that. Yeah. Do you know that the gift of discernment has to be inside a pimp for him to know what to say to you? Mm -hmm. uh, in order for me to know what's going to shrink your ego, I got to know what you need. Mm -hmm. I, got to, I got to be able to discern what's in you. Mm -hmm. And I got to have the word of knowledge. Y'all do know that's a gift. Yeah. I got to be able to say the right thing to you. Sugar don't only fall with bees, baby. Honey don't always grow on trees. If you come with me, I give you what you need. I don't know how they talk, but I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Huh? Huh? Yeah. I want y'all to know they some pimps behind the pool pit. Uh oh. Boy, yeah, 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 yeah. What you said? Uh oh. Yeah, For this cause, mm. Mm. many are sick among mm. you. Mm. Hmm? Yeah. Man, I could sit here and tell y'all anything. Mm -hmm. I could sit here and say anything to y'all. Mm -hmm. And if I didn't tell you to research what I'm saying, you would believe it. Right. Mm -hmm. But you know that I'm telling the truth because I tell you to read your word. Mm -hmm. A pimp don't want you to think. What you need me to do, Daddy? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> he don't need you. Y'all don't help me. I'm trying, trying to help you. you. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to help you. You've been operating in your purpose. You just don't know it. Mm -hmm. You got to... Mm -hmm. You got to quiet the noise. Mm -hmm. So that you can really be used in your purpose. Man, you've been, you've been running multi-million dollar companies for people your whole life and you don't even know it. Mm -hmm. You think you just put typing in, pushing buttons. Mm -hmm. Man, if you let that company, that company will fall. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think if you're doing your job. <laughs> but y'all know if you are or not. Mm -hmm. You got a purpose. Mm -hmm. And Satan is trying to keep you from using, using your purpose mm -hmm. in the kingdom. If everybody in here operates in their purpose, ain't a thing nobody can do with us. Mm -hmm. yeah. You hear me? Mm -hmm. I want y'all to think about something. He had 12 disciples. Mm -hmm. And all of them had a different purpose. Y'all mm -hmm. <laughs> understand what I'm telling y'all? Mm -hmm. They all had a different purpose. They all had a different gift. And they all operated. He showed them each how to operate in their gift. Peter was a thug. Y'all think thugs ain't needed. I need one. Because when I get out here and start talking to these folks and folks start popping up that I don't know nothing about, I need to sit the thug. Oh, y'all, huh? Yeah, I got. Michael is a the angel. Michael's a, yeah. what we call a thug. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yes. Michael ready to fight. Yeah. Hey man, is it time yet? Can you? Can I go? Yeah. What you think seeing me, Lord means? Hey, is it time yet? Y'all yeah. ain't never met nobody ready. Oh girl, we fighting tonight. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Y'all ain't never met an old sight person. Yeah. Oh, the old yeah. sight. Yeah, Y'all think they don't have a purpose? <laughs> Y'all, he even had a traitor in his midst. Yes. Mm -hmm. God told my. Yes. He even had a traitor mm -hmm. in his midst. And his purpose was to be a traitor. Mm -hmm. mm. He was practicing deception while he had to Ah, money! Mm -hmm. Huh? Now we ain't one of them in here, Lord. This is too good. 
Do y'all understand what I'm telling you though? Yeah. It's because for this cause many are sick among us. Because we don't know how to operate. The reason why he had a traitor is because he said that all things were together. Read the whole thing though. Don't stop there. Y'all like to stop there. Don't stop there. He said all things work for the good of those who are called to a, according to his purpose. Who love him and are called. Stop. We can stop at love. <laughs> we ain't get the purpose. We can't get the purpose until we secure love. All things work for the good of those who love him. Mm -hmm. Do you love him? Mm -hmm. Do you? Yes. How do you know if you love him? He said, those who love me keep my commandments. So things ain't working because you ain't keeping his commandments. Uh-oh. You can't even mess up when you keep his commandments. It's his word, not mine. Because it's going to turn around in your favor. But it's because you're not, you don't love him. Mm. Can't even get the purpose because you got to love him first. Mm. Get that, don't try to just scramble the scripture up and say what it say. It say, it say all things work for the good of those who love him and, and are called. You were called. Ain't nobody here that wasn't called. Mm -hmm. And you were called according to his purpose. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Huh? Yes, and you were called according to his purpose. Mm. So once once you start walking in his statutes, start following in his laws and his commandments, I promise you, you start worrying so much. That's what true peace is. Because mm -hmm. uh -oh. you understand it's going to work out. Oh, mm -hmm. I, all right, I get it. Did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that job stopped worrying you so much when you know that all things work. Mm -hmm. Huh? You stop worrying about what's happening at the house when you ain't there so much when you know that all things work. Huh? Mm -hmm. But to know that all things work, you got to love them. And if you don't love them, all things ain't going to work. I've been doing this my whole life and I just ain't seen the right. I ain't seen it. You said that I've never seen the righteous forsaken. No seed begging prayer. You say you would give me the desires of my heart. And he said under like. That girl's sick. Crocodile yeah. mm -hmm. The one that boy is sick. The one uh, deep thought. The one deep. Not called. Just not, called. not just called. <laughs> V, v, v with the extra E. Huh? So what we're learning is we're learning the process. Mm -hmm. Don't get caught up in the process. Mm -hmm. Don't allow the process. During your process, we see that there's temptation. Because mm -hmm. we see that Christ was cleansed. We see that Christ was tempted. We see that Christ did work. Mm -hmm. Huh? Which, which one are you at? Because you at one of them. Huh? Anybody can go. Anybody. Mm -hmm. So 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 don't don't be surprised at what you see. Mm -hmm. Just practice what he said. Mm -hmm. If you start right. Mm -hmm. If you start right. Mm -hmm. Start by waking up in the morning and getting you something to eat. This for me, this ain't even for y'all. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't talking about grits. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Huh? I wasn't talking about grits or a biscuit from Bojangles. Bojangles can't feed you this. You can eat at Bojangles and then be ready to eat again at 12 o'clock. But when you get his word in, his word feed you like money do. You hear what I said? His word feeds you like money do. On payday, you ain't even hungry. You right. yeah. <laughs> on payday, you didn't even hungry. But on Wednesday, <laughs> you <ain't> 
Sunday morning, but I hope this resurrected your life. I hope that this can be food for you, and you understand that you can do this thing. Huh? I said, we can do this thing. And our work has begun. I'm telling y'all, this the, the chapter 2 is getting ready to start, and I hope y'all know that. I said 2 is probably like 3 or 4, but we're going to say 2 just for today. Because our work getting ready to start, and we can't come home. I said we can't come home. Amen. Stomach's growling. All right? Mm. At this time, we're going to let Bishop come up and give us a few words before we get out of here. Uh, hallelujah. 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 Hello, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh, Lord. Amen. We thank God. Amen. For the word. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 It makes it pretty simple. Mm hmm. He didn't go too hypothetical. He gave a few definitions. Uh, the Apostle Paul said whenever he came down off of Mars Hill, mm -hmm. he didn't come with so excellent of speech. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Come on. And everything was common to man. Mm -hmm. He wasn't trying to make it complicated. Uh, but the thing about it is that the uh, thing that I see is that and understand is uh, that whatever God tells you to do, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, whatever He called you to do, mm -hmm, He prepared for. It. That's it. That's it. Uh, I didn't always use that. 
but I always believe that. Come on. I never believe that God wants me to sell fish sandwich. Uh huh. For my program. Come on, come on, come I on, come on. Uh huh. God, we sold a lot of hot dogs. Yes, yeah, <laughs> sir. You ate some fish too. I didn't believe that. Because of what the word said. We kept Texas feeding business. And not only did that, I watched the way he led his disciples. Mm -hmm. And then I thought about how he talked to Jeremiah. He didn't wait till Jeremiah was born to make him a prophet. Mm -hmm. That's right. He was a prophet before he was conceived. That's right. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. I'm just saying. Come on, come on. What did you mm -hmm. just say? You're born with it. Mm -hmm. The only reason why I went through the changes that I went through is because I was walking in darkness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't have to go through changes when you walk in the light. Mm -hmm. Because you can see your way. Mm -hmm. And you know who the way is. So I'm just saying, uh, we thank God for the resurrected Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah. But we have not obeyed his ways. Come on. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it right there. And his ways is in love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have to obey the law. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, also, we say we're not under the law of Moses anymore. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Get it to him, Bishop. But the Bible says the law of Moses is good. That's what it said. If you obey it. That's what it mm -hmm. said. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we thank God today. Mm -hmm. That we have no excuses. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. We no have excuses. no excuses. Hallelujah. No excuses. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. I went through some bad times. But thank God, I don't look bad. Come on, come on. Hallelujah. 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 All right, y'all, we're thankful for the day. I hope that uh, something y'all heard today was edifying. Um, we're not going to hold you any longer. Um, but again, we do this every Friday at uh, 745, every Sunday at 1130. Uh, we begin prayer at 11. If there's anybody that uh, wants to give and didn't, didn't have a chance to, the Cash App is in the description. We also do uh, Facebook Pay. Um, if there's anybody that want to join, anybody that want to, you know, uh, be in the fellowship, please inbox me. Um, and we'll try to reach back out to you uh, with the information. Um, but we are thankful for everybody that stopped in, um, and we hope that a word today reached you, and hope it reached your heart and, and blessed you today. But we thank y'all, and we'll see you guys next time. Shalom.